Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Emuelic Masterclass. Today we're going to look at fixing the issues of the Super Console X series, and we'll focus on the 4-player aspect. As these systems are running Emuelic, it'll work on a vast range of systems, including those that run Batocera, and even RetroPie. If you want to know the basics of setting up your controller, we've made a video for that. Go check it out before you watch this. Bet. I'm a turtle. We're going to start off with Battletoads. This is running on MAME, and it sounds like bum. Hotkey start to back out. Push start, go to advanced game options. We will change the core to MAME 2010. Doing that will fix the audio. We're going to run it again. And now you can play it without turning insane. As it's an arcade game, pressing select will add credits. We should be able to press start for each controller and have three players play this. We can only choose two. So push R3 and we'll see the menu for MAME. Go down to dip switches. The main thing we need to switch is three players. Hit return to prior, return to game, then restart. Press hotkey and X. Now we can play as all three toads. Next game is Captain Commando on Final Burn Neo. Here we can only choose two players. Hotkey triangle to get to quick menu. Move down to options. In this menu we have the dip switches. It's one for two player. Then switch it to either three or four player. Press back a few times. Resume game. Then restart, hotkey and X. This should also work for many other games on the final Burn Neo Core. Commando, Commando. Moving on to the Super Nintendo, we have Top Gear 3000. For this game, we need to set it to use the multi-tap. Push hotkey and triangle to get to quick menu. Go down to controls. Then for a port to controls, we need to switch device type to multi-tap. Then check ports 3, 4, and 5 that they're set for joypad. Back out. Do not use the save core remap file. We want to use this option here, save game remap file. This will set the multi-tap for this game only. Some two-player games do not like the multi-tap. Restart using the shortcut. I'll press restart here. And you'll be playing with your friends in no time. I don't have any friends, so this is playing with myself. Next, we're going to move on to N64. We're going to sort out Mario Kart and F-Zero X. We'll save it to the core so it'll work with other games too. So we're going to open the quick menu, hotkey and triangle, go down to controls, port 1 controls, analog to digital type set to none, as we have a controller with both analog and d-pad. And for the following four options, we need to set these for up, down, left and right digital. We're just setting the d-pad to how they should be. Once you've finished here, do with port 2. This is for player 2. Then the same with port 3 and 4. Players 3 and 4. Now back out, we want to use these controller settings for this emulator, so we'll use save core remap file. For any N64 game, use save content directory. Now we should be set for all N64 games. Now onto Sega Mega Drive. When you try and play these games out the box, 
Nothing's configured. So I'll go into the quick menu. Go down to controls. Port 2 controls. Then change device type to 4-way play. There are actually a few different types of multi-tap. For EA games and others, you may need to use Team Player. For this title, we use 4-way play. Now save game remap file. You want to exit the game and restart it. And then you're set. The 4-play setting doesn't work for every game. This is one of them, Micro Machines 96. Classic game. If you try to use player 2, the controls are unresponsive. We need to go back into the quick menu. Controls. Port 2 controls. Then change it to team player. Save game remap file. After restarting the game, we're good to play. This eight player game. W what? Yep, you heard right. Eight player micro machines. Next up in the list is the PlayStation. This machine did have a multi tap back in the day. And to get this set up, we need to go to the quick menu, hotkey and triangle. Go to port 1 controls. This should say retro pad with analog, because we've got the PlayStation controllers with the analog sticks. Analog to digital type to non. Check the D-pads there. And also left analog stick is correct. And do this for each controller. It's port 2. Non. Port 3, non, and then for port 4. Now we can save core remap. And then navigate to options. When you first see the screen, you can't see the input options. So we need to check show other input settings to on. Go to the top of the options. And then create game options file. Now exit and restart the game. Now quick menu. Go to Options. Now we can select each controller that's connected to the multi-tap. Either Analog or Dual Shock for each one. Set Multi-Tap 1 to On. Save Game Options file again. Exit out to the games list. Then reload. Four player super duper fun time. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandori. If you like the color green, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. See you around.